Hi everybody, Monday on Astro Oracles. Thanks for being here. I'm going to look into uh, the, div the divine uh, dance between um, the heavenly couple. And then I'm going to uh, channel uh, Sri uh, Ganesha about uh, how to obtain unity and uh, connect with this principle and use it for uh, prosperity, uh, wisdom and balance in your life. So uh, that is where we are going, uh, but um, let's begin at the, uh, the beginning. Uh, so, so the Big Bang. Uh, and with some some uh, all too obvious uh, Freudian in the innuendo here, uh, let's let's move to that as the sexual metaphor because in uh, in the the Indian metaphor, for instance, and and much often in Indian symbolism, uh, the lingam it is conceived of as a intercourse. Uh, so it is the the, the penetration of uh, the phallic in in the the yonic right, like so that. Uh, merging of the principles, which is sort of the uh, the line in the circle, is the beginning of everything. It's the unity of opposites, and that's of course um, very sensible as human beings who uh, reproduce in this way to conceive of that as a conception. Um, so, sexuality is at the heart of this tension. And again, to point to Freud, uh, who even saw this uh, as the psychological driving force of everything. So he also had in his uh, own, I, I would say, cocaine vision, um, his like his idea of man also being a, a beast that's sort of just symbolically interpreting and trying to get a, a hold of uh, these sort of tormentious, strong sexual forces that drives it through life, that brought it into creation and is driving it towards its grave. So, of course, that is a, a very, very uh, strong um, power. And that's the attraction of the divine to itself. Um, so, of course, the, the, the Brahman, the whole thing, uh, Allah, the Godhead, um this unity of everything within itself the uh, unity of of all opposites as uh, thomas aquinas defined it is of course the sublime uh, divine that's the the god beyond reason and and concept um but just as the eye can't uh, see itself or the hand can't uh, feel itself uh, then everything that is to be experienced arise in the world of difference and admixture. So the world is per definition uh, impure, it's alchemizing itself through this um, coitus that it's engaged in on, on all levels in its divine attraction uh, to itself. And so on the the sub-atomic level, uh, that's of course the negative and the positive charges uh, that are engaged in these fields of tension with each other. Um, and then around that is is generated the, the neutrons, right? The, uh, the extra matter that comes about out of that dense and that tension. And then the astounding thing about this tension is that it's it's so strong that it can keep in its configuration but instead of of breaking apart into entropy it it falls up into synchronicity it falls up into higher order um and that's what the ion is so it's it's an atom that that drops that becomes unstable in its charge it becomes slightly either a, you know, positive or negative, um, unstable, and then it enters into this dense of, of complexity with matter that has also moved into a, an instability, uh, a slight impurity through its tension, through its 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 attraction to itself, 
and that moves into these complex configurations uh, that we can of course uh, describe in in chemistry um, and where in the the middle uh, you can rely on diamonds and, and coal uh, carbon does this magnificent thing of of allowing for um, allowing for other uh, structures to engage with its 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 ring skeletons um so so there's this d divine attraction at play that's building itself through the universe uh, through what we perceive as as time but which is really just the the di complexity of the divine dance taking ever more intricate um, forms that begin to mirror more and more of the whole in, in the minute. Um, so that's the, the, the process of time at which is this synchronicity of, of attraction where things uh, build up. But it's a, it's a ferocious love to be, be caught in. And there are these deep instincts that exist within the universe and that are reflected within higher human instincts. And some of them are um, the love of sustaining, um, the love of, of nourishing, of giving life and seeing things thrive. And that is throughout a trillion galaxies. Uh, it, it is a, uh, permeating the entire thing but there is also this attraction this tension at play that we don't seem to quite understand and and my speculation is it's actually gravity uh, which we are able to describe but we still don't understand it's a mystical force gravity uh, and that's the force of attraction uh, that's that's moving um inside itself the universe stirring itself um and and if you conceive of this again sexually uh, then you also might see why we intuitively understand that the uh, gods are allowed to be incestuous for instance uh, because they are the cosmic forces that spring from the same unified source but then are engaged with themselves in in, in creating the world uh, you might also see that this divine couple, um, it's also a, a gay couple. And if you go deep enough into transcendental experiences, you'll find that your own energy body is, um, uh, hermaphroditic is not the exact term, but th th there's another one I'm looking for, but, but it has both genders. Um, and that is the idea that, that again, you know, you are a system of, of both forces that are composed as such. Um, so, so these tensions, this divine couple, uh, they're lovers, but they're also family, uh, and they're also intimates, and they're also, uh, of course, uh, enemies at the same time because they're competitors and they're playing a game. And there is this sense of, of one up, upsmanship uh, to it. Um, where the the fierceness and and rough love of of creation is also uttered uh, through that attraction, through that wish to constantly see a renewal, through that constant challenge that the world brings about to itself. Whether it can can you outdo this? Can you create something that's more astounding, more uh, marvelous, more astonishing uh, for us to to gawk at? And if I I turn away and, and hide for a moment. You can be the one who, who seeks me out with that new thing. It's this great, magnificent divine dance. And that is so cruel, so uh, beyond our level of, of reasoning that it will do things like take a meteor and smash it into the side of our planet 66 million years ago and then let's see are you going to see what happens now this is going to be astounding how are they going to get out of this one 
Um, and that's, of course, not a lot of fun if you're a part of the, the lower microcosm who's kind of experiencing this as a, a shape on the receiving end of, of this fierce love. Uh, and I'm sure I'm, I'm not the only uh, kid on the planet who had parents who liked to argue a lot. Uh, and, and if you know, kind of being caught up in, in that sense of uh, two people um, who are sort of playing out their codes of uh, attraction and uh, revulsion um, in unconscious weird ways that they aren't really in control of but uh, that a child of course needs needs to commit to a story that there's some kind of uh, order at play here because if 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 there isn't, then I, I, I really don't know what I'm going to do about it. Um, so in that way, of course, we're always making uh, stories and, and hoping that they'll uh, dance our ways and somehow uh, accommodate us in, in these great uh, divine circuitries that arise from their falling outs and, and their dance. Um, and that, if, if you think of that again, you know, as our, our energetic infancy that we're moving out of as a, as a species, um, we are also then shifting our relationship to what these uh, forces are about. So from the, the hope that these forces will be stable uh, we hope that they instead will be harmonic uh, meaning that they will work and move in ways uh, that that we can actually engage with and and sustain ourselves from um, and those are our higher circuitries because again if you do anything play an instrument or move into conversation, uh, then the, the goal is always to keep uh, the game going at more and more refined levels, uh, to be better and better at that sense of, of uh, counterplay and confidence, where you play the opposing roles, but you do it in very trusting, uh, helpful ways, where nobody betrays the shared purpose of what's going on here and that's a lot of these higher interconnections that we're we're moving through and from that point you might also see that often the polarities um, of this a uh, divine couple of juxtaposition often shifts at whatever level of gradation we're on and that's something that, that confuses people uh, a lot. So you'll notice, for instance, that it's you know, p p pointed out that like women have weaker upper arms than men have. Uh, so in that way, that they're worse at beating people up, right? Uh, but you'll notice, and I think that's fairly evident, uh, that women are psychologically usually a lot stronger than men, uh, which is why that a lot of... Um, conditions that seem to uh, break men and bring them uh, into very d destructive output action uh, often seems to be something that, that women can carry themselves through. And the same thing is, is happening as above, so, so below. So you'll see where we're, we're kind of coming from, from an idea of the feminine as the, the great nourishing supporter, our mother in the 4D and then the uh, the father as the, the descending force right that limits us off and, and like puts a lid on the box and makes sure that everything is, is in there. Uh, then what we're moving into now in these higher flows of energy is then again the, the polarity shifting uh, so that the female concept becomes the, the you know, the, the, the diluvian mother, uh, the rain from, from the sky, the descending uh, light who, who gives that. And, and then the supportive ground becomes uh, Atlas, the father who uh, holds up and, and supports humanity so that the shared child us can, 
can live and, and thrive and sustain itself. Uh, and that's again a part of this divine dance, right? It's it's constantly moving and and adapting um, to itself. So the question is again, of course, uh, to return to this, uh, because I think like few um, religions probably have such a, a delightful uh, grasp on this concept as as Hinduism, and it's uh, expressed in. Uh, the different uh, divine uh, couples, and of course, an, an offspring of uh, of these uh, Shiva and Antavai uh, is uh, Sri Ganesha, um, and it's interesting because he's of course then uh, somebody who describes this harmony, this confluence of the masculine and the feminine. Uh, and the way it it expresses itself in in Arthur or a sort of material abundance uh, that like the wealth of, of life the, the cornucopia which again of course is is fortune uh, is spilling uh, down from the sky so in in his wisdom he very much embodies also this energy circuitry and he has a, a lovely uh, big uh, belly to be able to to contain it all um it is of course all you know god devil and ether as as wilhelm uh, reich uh, wrote a, a book called so you can whether or not you want to think of it as, as you know a, a person or, or two personalities uh, first or whether you want to think of the world as an an emanation of energy that then creates the personalities that's uh that's whether you you kind of start with the the big or, or with the bang right um so and that's perhaps a question of your temperament uh, and so with that i hope that that something uh, resonated with your temperament uh, out there and and stirred uh, a dance within you because it's it's always working itself through you and with that i send you my love An anointment is bestowed upon you rich ambrosia from unseen realms descend into this reality this place you are felt and the libation is poured forward for you to take it in in your being It meets its loving counterpart, its receptacle. It is given form, life. It is refined and purified. It is turned into movement, life force, breath, speech, thought, dream. So many other refinements that take place 
in and around you. And so with this benediction, I, Ganesh, I send you an assurance that this holy water that has reached you and poured forward from an eternal source it is also created from the tension and the love of your mother father energy this tension within you is released by pouring it forward so where are you holding back your libations Are they tears you need to let flow? Are they things you need to let go of? Are they secrets you've been keeping? you should put down in writing so you could relieve yourself of them and forget or are they gifts you have been hiding away afraid that they would be trampled on, be dismissed, or simply not benefit anybody when you brought them forward. You all have places where you are damned up and you should let the heavenly waters, the in infinite wisdom, the word of life and the life behind the words pour forward through you that it spill, let it form around you. a spill too many drops then a puddle then slowly trickle a stream a lake wells up an entire body of water in this great ever pouring flow whatever has been welled up it moves through you and out around you you swim in this wellspring of your true energy whatever you keep inside
will find its proper place when you let it come to the outside. The polarities in your inner system are inaccurate. Your feelings are homeless because they seek a connection that is beyond your inner realm. And when they move out, as they move out, they settle into the patterns of flow that is available to them and then they begin to course towards the ocean gradually, softly negotiating their way through the landscape shaping the world they meet as they move this is your soul pouring forward these are the waters of life this is your essence this is your wisdom this is your prosperity this is your blessing let it pour it will rinse you and it will cleanse the world and restore it give it life quench its thirst renew it and pave the way for new things to sprout and grow, new abundance to thrive. The love from me and all of the divine, I, Sri Ganesha, I depart, blessing you. Shanti, shanti, peace, peace, peace. Um, love to you out there, guys. <laughs>